Hello everyone and welcome back to Sunless Sea. Last time we left off we got a couple of the items for the mummified man. I don't remember what he's called, but sorry if you hear any noise in the background as people are walking around and doing stuff today. So let's continue. Um, do we have anything they want? Starving poet, soulless fruit, no, mm, nope. Alarming scholar, memory, no, mm -mm. leave. We could, but I don't really want to spend the money on that. We have plenty of crew, and our hull is pretty good. Okay, so, purchase a live specimen, huh, no. Do we have anything they need? Nope. I think we were trying to look for something. Sorry if I sneeze. <sighs> Have we said we know we are? I think we already did. Uh, does he want anything? I guess we'll go down to the right a little bit. Oh. Go back, go back. Back it up. We need food. Can't forget food. Okay. <laughs> Shops. Provisioner. We need supplies. Eight supplies. And maybe some fuel. Ten fuel. Okay. Now we'll set off. I hope everyone is doing well today. Let's go this way a bit. Rowena's Rocks. It might be Rowena's, but whatever. I also need to remember to, uh... Here's Mutton Island. Can we... Can we stop at Mutton Island? I think we might have to go the other direction. But I need to get my timer going. We'll do... 20 minutes. Okay. Bunch of crabs over there. <laughs> the lookout shouts far above the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting, a rare and ominous event. What now? Eyes on the deck, forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer, or... Well, 50-50. Oh, gain some terror. Three of the false stars wink out altogether as someone as suddenly as closed eyes. The pattern that remains is as hopeless and meaningless as cast eyes. Somewhere, a sailor begins to sob. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's uh, chat with the fisherman. Pirates playing the wave, smugglers at their work. Conite ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Okay, let's visit the hilltop above the town. There's not much wind on Intersey, but Mutton Islands suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicable logit fragment of weather. In the air on the hilltop, sometimes carries interesting sense. Toasting the wind. You stand on a clifftop looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts forward, straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins it to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. I'm gonna scoot my microphone forward. Uh, the wind is southernly. Okay. 
So we gain 12 fragments, a couple more terror, great. Uh, we can go drink. The trees of the Neath are scraggly and wretched, scraping a living with parasynthesis, but the apples of Mutton Island are tart and powerful, perfect for Zyder. Zyder? Zyder! The stuff is stronger than it looks, so you stretch out in your seat, stare through the leaded window at your safely moored ship, and find yourself whistling. The landlord gives you a friendly grin and goes back to wetting his cleaver. Okay, I think that's about it. Okay. Continue into the deep dark. The Cubian Southwest, so that's like that way. We're gonna go this way, I think. Yes, I know. The false sheen and bleaks, those are kinda creepy. Bony reefs is a long way east. Jesus, what is that thing? Hopefully it doesn't see me. I'd prefer not to see me. <laughs> and then it's gonna turn around and see me, isn't it? I guess we're going a little faster than it is. What's here? Southeast, never eat. Is it that way? This is the Labyrinth of Eels. Okay, let's get our light back on. The waves are flecked with light. Okay. Crab cake. It's just called crab cake. Okay, sure. We got a chart going towards this way. That's a friendly ship or not? It's not. Okay. A tooth cracking treasure. A chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. You crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nonetheless, they all shush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the Z captain. It'll be luck for all of us. You're not going to th I'm gonna do the careful thing, and sailors pray to the stone when they want home, hearth, and healing. She's the kind of god you'd want on your side. The giant diamond glints once it reaches the apex of its art, down, down, and a wave reaches up to take it. Oh. What the hell? Full power! <laughs> We're going home! Okay, they turned around. Woo! Can we heal any? We healed 65 out of 75, so let's go home, get some food. It was a bad idea to try and take them on. There's a shark. Should we take the shark? Let's do it. I'm just gonna say never mind. My bad. I wasn't even near it. Oh, 
Hopefully it'll give up pretty soon. Okay. Really need to stop taking all these things. I'm not very good at it. Oh, there's Hunter's Keep. Let's let's get some food from them in a port report. Okay, let's have lunch with uh, Lucy. Same tale. We've lost our hunger, gained a supply. Cool. Can we... No, we don't have a Z story or a clay man. That's all we really need. Cool. And a port report. And I'm probably going to end the episode when we get back to port. I guess they're friendly? I can't tell. Almost there. Boop. Okay. Can we like go home for a bit? Read the paper. Lost some terror. Okay. Really need to buy quite a bit of provisions. We can give him our port reports. This one, Hunter's Keep, Quaker's Heaven. So one fuel. And a whole five echo. Okay. So that will do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you have something to say, please leave a comment. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe and I will see you all next time.